I'm uh, very impressed by what you've, you've done, in light, especially in light of your, your cancer. Uh, how do you prioritize things, your day-to-day -day sort of living? Wow, that's a very good point. Um, it's funny, uh, I was talking about um, having the big C and what it, how it makes you um, view other things in your life. Um, I'm less um, structured now. Um, I know that sounds kind of crazy. Um, I'm more um, kind of take it as it comes. Yeah, than, so I don't know if I, I don't have like a, a bit true, more spontaneous. Yeah, now, or, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and it kind of comes, and I and I don't have a a, a recipe for that. Okay. Um, like I said, I've been very fortunate. Um, I work in an environment that. Um, allows me to thrive and allows me to be me. Um, and I was gonna speak to, you know, just being transparent has worked out for me. Um, I said in the beginning that I was trying to hide it in my career life. Um, and I think being transparent, being out there has made it better for me in terms of shaping my career. Um, so. Have you found that others have stepped step forward, you know, that may have had may have a, a condition and uh, we're mm -hmm. a little bit reluctant to mention that. Have you have, have you personally experienced that? Somebody saying, hey, because of you, I've, I've yeah, let I have. people know. Yeah, oh. I have definitely. Um, because, you know, there's always kind of, you know, you even brought up what happened with, with you mm -hmm. today. Um, I think there's always, depending on the audience you're in, right. you're going to be more, how much can I reveal? Um, and I think just being who I am and being transparent has had people have come up to me and um, been transparent with me and more comfortable about saying that. Now, it depends on the environment, of course. Yeah, that's a good point. And part of the reason why I, I did mention that is because of you inspired me. I have not really talked about that in, in a public setting, mm -hmm. but I, I could I empathize and understand what you went through, and that's kind of what I mean. What, mine wasn't quite as severe. But certainly very scary. Of course, of course. I think uh, fear is oh. pretty much, uh, we all know what that is. Well, you know, it, it wasn't necessarily for myself, it was my, my family. Right. You know, what are they going to do without me, you know, you know, supporting, you know, paying for things and, you know, where are they going to get the income, you know, and that, of course, was not my wife's concern. She wanted me to, to be alive and well. <laughs> right, exactly. So, uh, do you have kind of a traditional nine to five job there at PPD or are you, okay. Actually I do um, and that's, I like that with my condition um, because I have, I say this a lot, I say I don't worship the work God anymore. Um, I have been a workaholic at times in my life where, you know, as, as well I'm sure as an MD. Um, you put in long hours and um, it doesn't do anybody any good doesn't do you any good, it doesn't do your patients any good, it doesn't do your clients any good. So I am done. Eight hours, I'm done. Do you find that uh, your coworkers, I mean, treat you any differently because of your condition or uh, do you feel any discomfort uh, with folks being around you or that's not, I mean, people really don't think about that. Right, everyone's different and how they treat me. Um, sometimes I think that um, they handle me a little bit with kid gloves. Um, I, you know, <laughs> there is, a, again, these are healthcare professionals I work with, so I think there's a, a certain amount of empathy that's already there. Um, so I think I can almost be kind of a quasi-patient to the people that I work with. Um, so they are very caring and, and that kind of thing. So. Um, it just depends on the person, how they're treating me. Do you find that a lot of conversations go the direction of talking about your condition, or is it pretty much, you know, let's focus on the job at hand? Uh, it really doesn't come up much. Okay. Focusing on the job at hand. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, exactly. But you've so. been able to naturally integrate it into, and you have a very accepting environment right now, right. which is which is exactly. nice. Exactly. You know, and that's probably helpful to, to be more healthy, is it, would you say? Oh, yes, yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think being with the company I'm with, I mean, they're global, so I think they incorporate a lot of um, non-American work um, structures 
good vacation, benefits, things like that. I'm lucky to have that. Yeah. Um, For both of you, why, why, why is it okay to, to accept and take on change wh whatever way it comes? I mean, you know, whether it's personal, whether it's in your job, whether it's making a bold step in your career, why is that okay in your mind? You know, being healthcare professionals, and and that's worked out for you in your careers, really making good decisions. The only way to grow is to take risks. Yeah, and I, I do think it's nice to have a, a plan going forward. You know, where do I want to be in X number of years? Um, it's not quite you talk about that spontaneity, but right. I do think you have to have a good idea as where you're going to be. I mean, I'm not getting any younger. And, right. uh, you know, I'd like to eventually retire. I don't want to work until I drop. But I think it is helpful to have a plan going forward as to where I might like to be. Maybe not a lot of detail to it, but, you know, do I want to stop working in five years? Mm -hmm. And if so, what would I do after that? I think so. that uh, moving from consulting, you know, a lot of people go from full-time to consulting. Right. And uh, I've done that, but uh, I do miss the environment of the full-time, you know, the day-to-day -day sort of camaraderie. Uh, collegial sort of uh, interactions you have, but uh, I do think that it's good to. You know, somebody said that uh, you want to look forward to going to work. You know, you don't want to dread going. To, and it's nice if you have the the time and the uh, ability to be able to be selective as far as your next opportunity, right. your work opportunity. But you know, you do want to, to enjoy what you're doing. It's not like I have to do this because I have no other options. And I think that yeah. John. Career Pro has given us those tools to help us oh, yes. with those choices. I was going to say, um, I applied at PPD, I want to say, five years ago, uh -huh. and I did not get an interview. When I came to John, redid my resume, got an interview immediately, and hired immediately. So, wow. kudos to John. 